Okay, so in this series of videos, I want to prove uh, Sterling's formula, which is an asymptotic formula for the factorial. So what Sterling's formula basically says is that n factorial is asymptotic to this expression. If you're not familiar with uh, what it means uh, for things to be asymptotic, it basically just means that the ratio of those two things converges to 1. So if I take n factorial, I divide by square root of 2 pi n times this expression. As n goes to infinity, this converges to 1. Um, and this uh, formula, it's named after the mathematician James Sterling. Uh, there was actually um, a version of this formula that uh, existed before it was proven by James Sterling, uh, but James Sterling was the first one to prove this formula with an explicit uh, constant. So this, um, the, the square root of 2 pi here, um, basically the first person who proved that this was equal to this specific value was uh, Sterling. And prior to that, it was known that this formula was true, but it, uh, it wasn't known what the value of the, um, the constant was. So that's basically a little bit of history. Uh, but the proof of this um, is, is not super straightforward, but it doesn't um, require any super advanced techniques. Um, and um, the, the particular proof that I'm going to give um, really just starts with um, a sequence. So we're not going to start by looking at the factorial directly. Um, instead, we're going to look at the following sequence. Um, and this looks, um, you know, maybe like kind of um, similar to um, the expression that I started with. So this is how I'm going to define the sequence dn. Um, and the first thing that I claim about dn is that uh, its forward difference obeys a certain bound. Um, so if I take the forward difference dn minus dn plus 1, I claim that this is bounded above by 1 third, 1 over 2n plus 1 squared minus 1. So, you know, this might seem random, like why are we looking at this particular sequence? Why am I saying that it obeys this certain bound? Um, this will hopefully make more sense as the proof goes on, why we are interested in this. Um, so to prove that, that this is true, um, I actually want to recall something, which is the series for log 1 plus 1 over n. Um, so the series representation for this is as follows. It's uh, 2, 1 over 2n plus 1, 1 over 3, 2n plus 1 cubed, plus 1 over 5, 2n plus 1 to the fifth, and then so on. Um, so I said this is the series. This is, this is at least a series representation for this. Um, so I'm not going to prove this. Um, if you want to try proving it for yourself, um, one thing you could do is you could start with the Taylor series for this function. Um, so try to figure out what the, the Taylor series is for that. And then uh, once you know that, plug in x equals 1 over 2n plus 1. And um, if you uh, do everything right and then you simplify, you get this uh, series representation. Okay. So uh, the reason I'm interested in this is because um, I can make the following observation about this forward difference. So dn minus dn plus 1. Uh, so what is this? So this is log n factorial. This part is just dn, uh, which we already said what that was. Log n plus n, like this. 
And then if I subtract dn plus 1, I'll be subtracting log n plus 1 factorial. Um, I'm going to add, because I have a negative here, which is going to turn to a positive. So I'll have plus n plus 3 halves log n plus 1, like this. Uh, maybe I should move this uh, down here, so plus n plus 3 halves log n plus 1. And then I'm subtracting n plus 1. So at the end, I just have minus n minus 1. Cool. So why am I interested in this? Well, basically, I get cancellation. This n cancels with this n. And then furthermore, I can combine some other stuff. Uh, so I, here I have log n factorial and then minus log n plus 1 factorial. So I can write that as log n factorial over n plus 1 factorial, which is the same as log 1 over n plus 1. So that takes care of this and this. Uh, what else do I have? I have uh, n log n plus 1, and then minus n log n. So that's the same as n log n plus 1 over n. Uh, so n plus 1 over n. Uh, and then I can do the same thing with the 1 half. So I have 1 half log n plus 1 over n. Um, and then the remaining things that I have in the expression is I still have a log n plus 1 and then minus 1. OK, but now notice that uh, this um, expression here is the same as negative log n plus 1. So I can cancel. And so if I simplify this a bit, this is just n plus, uh, n plus 1 half log n plus 1 over n, which is the same as 1 plus 1 over n minus 1. Great. So uh, now we can use our series representation. So earlier we had the series expression for log 1 plus uh, 1 over n. And um, I can use that here. So if I uh, replace this with um, the series expression, so this is n plus 1 half. And then uh, my series was 2 1 over 2n plus 1, 3, 2n plus 1 to the third, plus dot, dot, dot. And then I still have this minus 1 here. And now I can actually cancel a lot of things out, because if I multiply this 2 by n plus 1 half, that just gets me 2n plus 1. And then in here, I have 1 over 2n plus 1 plus the rest, like that, and then minus 1. But now notice that this times this is equal to 1. And here I have negative 1. Um, so now I can simplify even more. This is uh, 1 over 3, 2n plus 1 squared, plus 1 over 5, 2n plus 1 to the fourth plus dot, 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 right? Because I canceled um, the first term of this with the negative 1. So I canceled those two out. And then I took this 2n plus 1, and I just canceled it with the powers of 2n plus 1 in the denominators in here. And so this is what I'm left with. OK, but now we want to notice that, um, I mean, what's an obvious way that I could bound this above by something, this expression that I have now, well, this is strictly less than if I just had 1 over 3, 2n plus 1 squared, plus 1 over 3, 2n plus 1 to the fourth, plus dot, dot, dot. All right, so basically I'm taking the same expression, but um, I'm, I'm using the fact that the 5 here, there would be like a 7 here, and then a 9, and all of those are bigger than 3.
Great, so that tells me that I'm bounded above by this expression, which is the same as um, some k greater than or equal to 1. And then I have 1 over 2n plus 1 to the 2k. Great. OK, but now um, the series that we ended up with is a uh, geometric series. It's a geometric series in 1 over 2n plus 1 squared. And you can check that the limit of this series is 1 over 2n plus 1 squared minus 1. And this is what you get if you use the formula for geometric series and you simplify everything down. You just get this expression. So um, recall that way back before I um, simplified everything and before I came up with this upper bound, the expression that I started with was dn minus dn plus 1. So now I get that dn minus dn plus 1 is uh, bounded above by this, and that is what I wanted to show. Great, so that uh, concludes the first part of this proof. Um, our goal in the uh, second video is we're going to uh, use the bound that we produced in this video. And um, we're going to prove that the limit as n goes to infinity of dn is equal to a positive constant c. Okay, and then that will tell us something about n factorial. So I will continue in the next video.